life. So we're going to talk a little bit about, well, more than a little, about sleep and aging. More than half of Americans over the age of 65 report sleep problems. So this affects lots of us. Is part of this because of our sleep patterns and change as we get older? Oh, Is absolutely. It? So um, I'm going to pull it back a little bit to, she asked me early on about sex link differences in the brain. So um, sleep, there are two things that happen when sleep is disrupted. And there are like 83 different diagnoses of sleep-related problems. And if you have a primary problem in the brain networks, like Alzheimer's, they don't, they're not in sync and you can have disrupted sleep architecture. With normal aging, you have changes in sleep patterns. I remember my grandmother who sort of thought, well, as soon as the kids get out of the house, I'll be able to sleep in. Well, it doesn't happen because your patterns change. It, with with um, adolescents, actually, children have fragmented sleep, right? They, they have fragmented sleep, but they need more sleep. With increasing age, you actually need more sleep, a regular pattern of sleep, but the architecture can change. And again, like you mentioned, if you're not sleeping during the times where you have consolidation of memory and rejuvenation. But the two things with any sleep-related problem are difficulty with attention, which is something that happens with aging anyway, and depression. And so if you have those signs or symptoms, and even if you don't realize that you're having sleep-related problems, getting that investigated and doing tr things to help you sleep better with regular hours, dropping the temperature down, not having the TV on. So all those kinds of things are really important. But there are definite changes in sleep architecture and a need for more sleep with increasing age. Exercise actually also comes back and helps you to be able to sleep better.